Hello everyone. Welcome to this GATE 2019 statistics paper. Today we will discuss about question number 11, 22 and 37 related to this Markov chain. What is the question number 11 is? It is of the 1 marks and you have to classify the states of this Markov chain. Question number 22, you have to find the probability of this chain. While this question number 37 is you have to find the stationary probability. How you can find all these questions in a very simple manner? So you can see this is a 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is a 4 marks is there. So you can get a 4 marks in a very simple manner. Again, since it is of the 1 marks, so you have to provide yourself as a 1 minutes to solve this question. What is the meaning of that? So firstly, uh, I will tell you how you can find the recurrent states and what is the difference between them. That is very simple. You can start from the any state. So say I can start from the ith state. When it's said to be the recurrent. That recurrent means if you start from the ith state and you from this you can go a, a, everywhere, anywhere. So you can go wherever you want. You can go wherever you want. Then if, if there is a possible way, if there is a way of returning to the same stage, if I say if there way of returning to the i stays again then we can say it is a recurrent state otherwise we can call as the transit state so how you can solve this in the mcq that's a very simple firstly you have to draw the transition diagram so there are the three states one two and three now you can see that it's a one to one is a 0.7 so this means there is a self loop of the 0.7 one to two it's my 0.3 two two 2 it's my point 6 and 2 to 3 is my point 4 while 3 to 3 is my point is my 1. Now you can identify that very simple I can start from the state 1 firstly. Is it possible that you can go start from the 1 and visit some another place and go back to the 1 again like you can start from the 1 you can go to 2 is it possible that you can go back to the 1 again in this path no. What is the meaning of that this one is my transit state. So which one option is cancelled? So one is a recurrent that option is cancelled out. One is a recurrent that option is also cancelled. One state is a recurrent that option is also cancelled. So the right answer is my here. Also we can check for this stage 2 also. So if I can check for the state 2, if you start from the 2, is it possible that you can go back again to the 2 apart from the self loop? You can go from 2 to 3 but again you are unable to go back to the to this one so what is the meaning of that 2 is also the transit state while look at the state 3 is it possible to go anywhere from the state 3 no you can see there is only the one self loop are there so it means 3 is my recurrent state so the state that is i whenever wherever you go so you can loop only for the self also you can see this is my absorbing states are there so right answer is 3 is the recurrent, 1 and 2 are this is the right answer. Look at the another question is there, this is the chain. So as we discussed in our theory class, what is that? This is my state 1 to 2. So you can go from the stage 2 to 3. So I can write like this way 2 to 3 and then 3 to 1. This is the way it is given to you. Now you can check the time period. This is 1 to 2. That's a 1 time period. So this is the probability of the 2 to 3 with that respect to the 1 time period. This is from the 2 to 3. Sorry, uh, uh, 3 to 1. 3 to 1 with the time period of the 1. So what is the probability of the P2, 3? That's a 0.3. What is the probability of the P3, 1 over the first time period here? But what is the probability of getting the 1 step period? This is there, that's the initial probability. So you have to find firstly the Q1, that is Q0 into P. And once you will solve, this will get you the three answer. The first answer corresponding to the state 1, second one is corresponding 2, and third one is 3. But we need the state 2, that is I want this answer. So this is the probability, I can multiply this value with the initial probability 0 0.5, 0 0.2, and 0 0.3. Since I need the second one only, so I can multiply this with here. So what is the answer of this part is 0.5 into 0.3 is 0 0.15, 0 0.2 multiply 0 0.42 is a 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 into 0 0.3 is my 0 0.12. So what is the answer of this? Point, 
point one, this is point one two, point and so on. So this is my point three one. So what is the answer of this is there? This is point three one multiply point three into point two. So what is that? This is six, six there eighteen. So you have to write them as of this is the right answer of this problem. That's a very simple. So you have to write them into the chain form. Look at the next next question is there. This is the stationary probability. That's a very simple are there. So uh, the student may try to solve like this way and then try to find its probability and so. But there is no problem since it is MCQ. You have to think about that. You have to look about this transition probability. Is this of the form here like this? Can you write in the form of this because it's a two cross two? Is it form of this? Yes. So what is the answer of the A? If you compare them, A is my point A, B is my point three. So whenever the transition, whenever the TPM, that is the transition probability matrix of this form, then it will be isomorphism or this to my B and A. What is the B? Is three. A is my point eight. So what is the answer of what is the probability of the B? Three by eighteen, three by eleven, and A is my eight by eleven. So that is the answer is three eleven. Eight eleven. Since it's a two cross two, you have to write the two cross two of this form is the right answer. So this is the way you can solve this in a very simple manner of the transition probability matrix. Remember that this that this is a stationary probability. That's the way you can solve. It. So this is the way we have covered in this lecture. This is we have already covered that. Now next we will cover on the maximum likelihood estimators of these four questions. And after that we will cover here. so our target is to cover more than 25 questions out of 55 so yeah so that you are able to prepare your preparation till then you can simply follow this link share this video with your friend best of luck today